phrase or something in your you can do these different ways. But I just do little rounds. Do you need water? Yeah, I need to actually slip. Here you oh, here. This. Yeah, we can cover up the underglaze now. Can we? Okay. Yeah. That back over here. So I yeah. took this slab and I just rolled it out a little bit to thin it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop in, and there's, there's, and pop in little berries. You know, she gave me the water, not the smoke. <laughs> Okay. This is my nice stinky slip, guys. I'm sorry if it smells, but it's my stinky slip. So I just put a little bit on. I don't score. Some people score, but I haven't had to score. I think that when you're putting pressure on them, which we do, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. it adheres it. Yeah, it adheres it when you put pressure on it. And they're both uh, quite wet. So. Yeah. This probably should be a little bit bigger. This one looks that, so I'm going to just... A little warmth of your body just makes it really... So I put a little slip in there, and I take it, and I got a little bit of pressure. Okay? So you can leave the berries like that if you want. Or sometimes what I do is I like find a nice round bottom and just put like little pressure in there and the glaze will pull up in there and it doesn't matter if it's cracked the, the glaze will just pull in with it oh you got slip good and instead of putting them on top you can put the holes in the sides you know instead of on top like that you want to look more like a berry but once this dries if you can, or before it dries you can actually take a little bit of a wet sponge and soften that up if you want to okay the other thing I'm going to show you is these leaves. I have them in different sizes. And so you press them out. And then my favorite pen, which I probably don't have here either, because everything kind of gets... So I take it and I just kind of come down with a little bit of a curve. And then you can just put your little lines in here just to add a little bit of an accent to it. And all those little things will clean off eventually. And if you make another one, this is a cool thing I learned from a, a friend of mine that does a really beautiful flowers. And she's actually going to teach a class on how to do the flowers here <coughs> for us. And she does beautiful roses. I think I've got some up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Those are really pretty. Aren't those cool? Oh, wow. She's, this is going to be one of the classes. Yeah. Oh. How to make porcelain roses. Gosh, and what we're thinking we might do is try to come up with colored clay for the roses so that you don't actually glaze yeah, it. Yeah, so we're working colors. on that. Just put clear glaze over it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this is something you can do. So I take a look at it and try to display how do I want this to look on the plate. You know, I might even do something like this. Think about putting a... They almost look like angel wings, too. Isn't it? It's kind of cool. This is I'm doing this in a hurry, so it's like... When you're, when you're thinking about it, it's a little bit easier. I should have thought about a design. I wasn't realizing I was going to... Do one of these big plates. Surprise. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> Talk about. And then you could even like layer like that. That's what you can do. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. yep. So then you do the same thing. You put a little slip. So you start with the bottom. Put your little slip. A lot of people score, but this is really pretty damp. And we're probably going to put a little pressure on there and if this is really uh, I usually work with what suede more suede kind of leather hard in a way and then you can put pressure on and you don't lose your design I'm a little worried about losing some of the design so I'm not pressing quite as hard so maybe when this gets to be more leather hard I'll put more pressure on it so you want to be careful about distorting your or you can use the fact that you can 
to start it now and very disturb your leaves a little bit and things like yeah, that. Yeah, bury the leaves Stretching. a little bit. So this kind of gives it a little more dimension. Tuck it in a little bit. And if you want to, you can think about just smoothing it a little. Just want to make sure my holes are going to be really nice. So that feels really good. I think this would probably really be able to pass. You know, you can take leaves and you can kind of go along the edge with the leaves. 